All right, who doesn't love homemade macaroni and cheese? And we have kind of struggled to find a recipe that we just absolutely love at our house. And I stumbled upon um, better cheddar cheese powder from King Arthur. And not that we're saying one that brand is better than the other, there's definitely lots of other ones, but um, we have really loved this and it's a super, super quick, easy mac and cheese recipe. And in the Instapot, it's gonna cook for four minutes. So it's even faster than making it on your stove. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook our pasta first. So we're gonna put a cup and a half of pasta in our Instapot. And in my big Instapot, um, I've got a six quart. A cup and a half doesn't about covers the bottom of our, so we'll bring the camera up. And when we're cooking pasta, we really only need as much water as we'll cover the pasta completely because whatever is not underwater will still be crispy when it's done. Um, so we don't need tons and tons of water. Um, so with that, we are gonna put our lid on and hook it, turn it on and it comes on. And with this, we're just gonna hit pressure cook. We're gonna go for four minutes and it's gonna do its thing. As you can see, it says pressure um, is normal and we're cooking it like with our high. So here you can see that it's heating um, and then the little P there. So, and I don't, you can't quite hear it yet. Um, so as you can see, I got the Instapot Duo Nova. So there's tons of options, um, but you can see we have a soup, a broth, meat and stew, bean and chili, poultry, if we want to slow cook instead of using the crock pot, we can do a slow cook in our Instapot saute, which we're going to show you a little bit later. Um, we also have a rice, multigrain, porridge, steam, and yogurt functions, as well as our pressure cook. Um, we can adjust our pressure level to normal or low or high, and um, we can tell it to keep it warm, which is nice because sometimes I get to cooking and it's ready to be done. And this just keeps it warm if I'm busy doing something else around the house for a little bit. And the delay starts, so if I didn't want it to cook, start cooking for um, like a half an hour, I can tell it that as well, and then just a cancel button. So it gets started doing its thing. Up here on top, you'll want to make sure when you start that we do have our, um, that it's not set to vent. So down is set to vent. This is, so it's building pressure. And as you can see, the little float valve is floating um, at this point. So once it starts to pressurize and it's doing its thing. So the pressurizing, when you look at Instapot recipes, a lot of times it's like four minutes. Well, that's four minutes of actual cook time not four minutes from when you hit start till when it is finished. So the pressurizing um, does take it a few minutes. So while we're doing that, um, we're gonna get our other ingredients ready to go. So with this, we need um, a third a cup of our cheese powder. We're going to use four tablespoons of butter because if you're going to make mac and cheese, it needs to be good and rich and creamy. And a quarter cup of milk. No, 
Oh, perfect. Right on where I need to be. Kind of that whole watched pot doesn't so we'll let it do its thing and as it gets ready to pressurize we'll jump back on <laughs> 